First keynote address is uh, uh, Mr. Nikhil Desai. Is, it, is that the pronunciation is right? Uh, he's an international speaker, motivator, and trainer, and the director of Center of, uh, Center of Excellence in India. Uh, Mr. Nickel is, is passionate about enabling people. Then, principle-centered living. We've heard this often that we must live life and organizations by certain principles. All that is absolutely correct. But beyond principle-centered living, it also helps us to take excellent decisions. I'm going to ask you a question to this room right now. How many of us, we feel, we are excellent decision makers? Raise your hand up. Thank you for the honesty. Right? If I said good, some of you would have raised the hand up. Maybe some of you for very good, right? Maybe. But excellent, you said no. I'm not an excellent decision maker. And in organizations, Everything is about decision making. How can we improve the quality of our decision making? Because ultimately, life is a series of decisions. Every moment is a series of decisions that you are taking. Whether to come into this conference or not was a decision you took. After coming to the conference, how will you implement some of the things in your organizations is a decision. And the quality of your decisions will influence the quality of your results. And therefore, Principle-centered living helps you to take excellent decisions. And finally, openness to learning, unlearning, and relearning. Learning, we all know, is important. Henry Ford said learning is important. What is unlearning and relearning? There are things that we have learned in the past. There are habits that we have picked up. There are beliefs that we have. Some of them may not be as fruitful, as useful today. Can I unlearn them and replace them? by a different habit, a different belief that will enable better results and better productivity. We must inculcate a culture of learning in our organizations. Yesterday I was very happy when a lot of people said training is a must. Even, you know, Gary, my friend, was saying irrespective of age, irrespective of position, we must be learning every day on a regular basis. And the value of training not only to survive in difficult times, but to thrive in good times is absolutely invaluable. One research has shown that 85% of an executive's success at work is due to soft skills training. Only 15% is due to functional or technical skills. And I would like and urge you to look at your own organizations and find out how much time do we devote to soft skill training. How much time do we devote to the important areas of communication skills and time management and managing stress and having a positive attitude and all these things put together which we often take for granted. We assume that people should know. But training in these areas helps them function, as this research shows, to a much higher level. I was in the U.S. one day conducting programs for the U.S. Coast Guard and even the training supervisor came up to me and said, Nikhil, you know, there were so many programs we keep doing, technical, functional, but your session is the type of session that we really need because this enables us to look at ourselves and make the appropriate changes in ourselves and in our organizations. So I created a small model which I'm going to share with you. All of us should carry what I call the vest of excellence. V for vision. Have a greater vision of what you can do for your organizations. What you have done so far is only the tip of the iceberg. Can I do much more and if so, how? E, enthusiasm. I have the vision, but once in a while the problems come in. Does my enthusiasm dip? And if it dips, what should I do about it? Can I raise myself up quickly? Can I help other people who have low enthusiasm help them to pick up their levels of enthusiasm faster. Because enthusiasm comes from the Greek word entheos. Entheos means full of life, full of vitality. And if we have organizations that are full of life and full of vitality, you can imagine what results we can get. The S stands for stress management. Today, knowingly or unknowingly, people carry stress with them. If you're caught up in a traffic jam and are late for a meeting, there's stress. There are so many reasons. Yesterday we talked about performance appraisals and we saw that people don't come to organizations on a particular day if they're going to be assessed. They are afraid of even something like that. That causes stress. 
are we aware that stress reduces productivity and we must enable people to deal with stress and finally the trust trust in yourself and trust in your colleagues can we create teamwork within the organization because if you look at good trust and good teamwork we can achieve miracles you know the acronym for team t e a m we've heard it before some of us may have heard it it is together everyone achieves more that's an acronym for teamwork together everyone achieves more and that is what is possible if there is trust within organizations within the departments within teams